Alright YouTube, here is another vacuum video for you. This time it's showing my vacuums in the garage. I did have a request to do this, but since I was already planning it, I'm going to bypass the request and just, you know, do it as my choice since I already had it planned out and all. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to get started. I actually tried to make this video before, but my roommate kept popping in and interrupting my recording. So he's handcuffed in his room right now. Don't ask me why I handcuffed him in there. It's the only way I could keep his drunken ass in there. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get and get started and forget I ever said that. There is my Hoover Conquest. My work vacuum, really good. I already had a comment saying, being surprised that it's just a 6.5 amp motor and that the fan is the same size as a Hoover Elite fan. I don't know how this thing has overboard airflow um, because of the fan size and all, but I don't care why. All I care is that it does an extremely good job and it rolls in the paychecks. Uh, there's my Sanitaire SC899. Um, I actually used this to clean up the paper that flew out of the bag from me not having it on there good or zipped up. This is a dual purpose bag and I was using it as a shakeout. Um, but yeah, beast, another beast. My Sanitaire SC887, dirt cup bag model. Half a bag's better than none, I guess. My Sanitaire SC684. I actually got that back from my brother's house because he borrows that all the time. He loves it. I love it. It's a great vacuum. Hoover Commercial Dual Purpose Elite Supposed to be going to another user But haven't gotten the shipping price yet um, Kenmore Performance Cleaning System or Power Center um, I've always seen performance cleaning systems with a hard bag cover Not a soft bag cover so I'm guessing that's a power center. I don't know. Kirby Generation 4 has G6 parts on it. G6 bag, G6 handle, G6 power nozzle. Still runs smooth, still runs like a regular Kirby G4 would. Kirby Legend 2 really good vacuum Kenmore dry tech trying to get to making a video of that one Bissell very cheap Bissell power force bagless I hate it not a good vacuum I only got it to resell uh, I don't like Bissell unless they're a bagged model with this kind of bag is soft bag, soft bag ones. Um, I might get a Bissell Big Green Sanitaire style, but it would be just for fun since those don't even work right like they should for being a Sanitaire style vacuum. Um, I used one at a place called Youth Villages and my cousin, we, me and my mom were visiting my cousin, he spilt his potato chips on the floor, or actually it was a bag of popcorn, and that thing had a rather hard time picking up all that 
white cheese popcorn. And it was a full size bag like a sanitaire like this one. So there's really no reason it should be having that hard of a time picking up that stuff. So like I said if I get one it's just going to be for shits and giggles. Now back to the video. A brand new in the box Dirt Devil 500 hand vac. And just so you know I'm not lying, I already cut the tape on it to make sure it wasn't a dud. There it is. There's the handle. There's the machine. Can't see it too well. So there's that. So other than uh, just to just a vacuum check, it's never been open. Um, Eureka the boss. It's a pretty good vacuum, five amps, but cleans good. Royal Commercial, Hoover wet dry vac and blower, 16 gallon, a old style shop vac, um, wet dry, Hoover convertible, love it, favorite vacuum out of my entire collection. Select Vac 12 inch. Not all original because it has a dirt cup bag and they didn't have a headlight on the dirt cup unit. Three Kirby Classics. Love them. Favorites. Another Hoover convertible. And this is a third Hoover convertible. Sanitaire SC679. Like we all know, Kenmore Whisper Tone Upright. Simplicity Series 6. Eureka Commercial C2094. My Kent EuroClean. I promised I'd get the model number for y'all. Model number is KC125E. So there's that. Hoover Preferred. Pretty good vacuum. And a Hoover Steam Vac Deluxe Carpet Cleaner. I have a bunch more vacuums than this. Some out in my shed. Most of them are the crappier kind. Just that I just got to resale. But have been unsuccessful. I also need to get arranged out there. Since it's a hell hole. And that yellow back there is a Hoover shampoo polisher. It's not branded shampoo polisher. But I like to call it that because I like the British one. I like British vacuums too. I'm actually hoping to get a Hoover Turbo Power Plus total system imported and um, a Hoover Turbo Master Freedom um, Hoover Contract Commercial don't remember what it, what the real brand of it was and just a few others that I've actually had in the past but I had to send them back to Somerset because my step up transformer blew out. So, yeah, there's that information. And I hope y'all don't think I'm lying, but I actually did have the Rarity Hoover. 
the Hoover Model O. The reason I say rarity is because it's a ultra rare Hoover Model Zero. And my sister thought I was thinking of a My Little Pony, whatever they call it, character. But I'm not that stupid. I don't think of that shit. So, yeah. Anyway, there's the garage vax. Um, I hope I'm actually hoping to get this arranged a little bit. Hoover to Hoover or whatever. Um, you know, just get some stuff organized out here so we have more space for videos. Um, also, um... If you ever did watch a channel called Will Smash 7 and you've been requesting videos from him, he don't have that channel no more. Um or he doesn't go he can't go to that channel no more because he don't remember his password or something like that. But his new channel name is 02 Dodge Intrepid RT. You can look it up. That's him. Um, I don't know if he does vacuum videos anymore. But. Uh, that's his new channel. And. Um, damn. What was I going to say? Anyway. What I uh, what actually what I was going to say is check out Arbok Lover 1618 on Facebook. You can look it up if you if you're on Facebook and like it and leave any comments on posts and I will respond or send me a message there. If you don't already know me on Facebook, just go there. And I will respond to any messages. I'll respond to comments. Or whatever. So, once again, tell me how you liked it. Tell me what y'all would like to see. And I'll see what I can do and how I can do it. Also, tomorrow I'm going to try and get to Walmart and get some dry carpet cleaner so I can run this. I'm not just going to run it with the vacuum setting because that doesn't show a real test so until next time bye